Camp is over, and as you can see, we have on fancier garments, ceremonial garments on today, and we're breaking down the camp, right? So it's time to take off, you know, the uh, the garments, all right? But when we take off the garments, are we supposed to go into a secret identity? Are we supposed to not, not nobody know that we Israel? No, we still wear our garments. Meaning our fringes are border of blue, okay, according to the numbers, all right? So as you can see right here, okay, it doesn't change, all right? So that time after you take off your garments, there's a secret identity. Not nobody don't know who you are, okay? Right. Take off your garments, okay? And now what? You're still wearing garments. And all the word garments means is clothes. Right. Clothing, that's all it means. Today we just happen to be wearing what? Fancier garments, that's all. Okay. Ceremonial. Right. Ceremonial, thank you. Ceremonial garments. Let me put it right. Ceremonial garments. Right. Well, all our clothes, we're supposed to wear fringes. Right. Not just these garments. All our clothes, our everyday clothes, our every... The word garment mean, mean clothing. Right. So you gotta wear fringes on all your garments. That's the law. The law is fringes. That's the law. Right? That's right. Okay? So we pray that you brothers and sisters, you understand that. Okay? And if you're home, all right, get that understanding. Buy, uh, get those clothings, okay? Try to get the 100% like it's telling you in the law. And put your fringes in border of blue. That applies to you Israelite brothers, all right? And you Israelite sisters, okay? All right? So with that, all right, you say shalom. Hey, shalom Israel. This is your brother Nathaniel from Israel, united in Christ. Uh, today we're going to deal with how to dress. Yeah, I know a lot of you know how to dress. I know that. Um, but in our repenting, is that the Most High gave us as a nation a dress code, okay? Also, what I want you to understand that uh, Christ always had on his garments. Peter, the apostles, the prophets, none of them, listen good, none of them had secret identities. Meaning, they'll go out on the street, teach, wear a priestly outfit, then take it off and then look like a thug or a, a dumb nigga. They didn't do that. They all, when you saw them, you knew they was Israel. Why? Because of the dress code that they always followed. So likewise with us and many of you that, that are coming along with us on this journey to prepare us to the coming of the kingdom, coming of the second coming of our Lord and Savior, our Messiah, Christ, we must learn to be Israel 24-7. All right? So come on, let me show you. All right, I'm going to show you the book of Numbers, chapter 15. I just want you to read along with me. Let's go to Numbers 15 and verse 38. Speak unto the children of Israel and bid them that they make them fringes and the borders of their garments, meaning at the ends of your clothing, throughout their generations, and that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. Now, this is what I want you to look at right here and that they put upon the fringe. So what's supposed to go on the fringe of the border? A ribband of blue. So the ribbon of blue goes on the fringe. The fringes do not go behind the uh, clothing and then the border of blue goes on top. No. Wherever the fringes are, the border of blue goes on top of the fringe. I'm going to show you, I'm um, going to start with kids stuff first. I'm going to show you my son's little uh, polo shirt that he wears to school. Okay, as you can see, this has a light, very light blue uh, border of blue on the fringe. This is a cloth fringe. Okay, this is another one of his t-shirts he just hangs out with. As you can see, there's a ribbon of blue, and notice the different kinds of fringes. These are real little, 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 little fringes. Okay, real little. Uh, here's another shirt here. It's a black uh, Gap shirt. Uh, it's black. Notice these kind of fringes are cloth. And I want you how to notice how the ribbon of blue goes on top of the fringe. It holds the, uh, the ribbon of blue holds the fringe to the actual fabric okay no it doesn't go behind it okay the fringe is on top of the, the garment as well as the border blue is holding the fringe to the garment okay 
Here's a New York uh, t-shirt he got. What do you call these things? Whatever. Here's another kind of fringe. It's orange. These are very small. These fringes here. Very, very teeny, teeny. Okay. Here's uh, another shirt that my older boy wears to school. He drank a lot and iron it. But notice these uh, types of fringes here. Okay. So another type. Okay, there's all kinds of, they call them trims. Okay, here's another shirt that he plays. He goes to school. These are school shirts, actually. See these fringes here? These are cloth. And this, the ribbon of blue is actually suede. Okay, so it's another kind. Here's another one. His plaid shirts with red and blue on it. Okay, notice the fringes here are more spread out. Okay, thinner, finer and a ribbon of blue holding the uh, fringe to the shirt. Okay, so that's for school wear. Here's a little uh, a jacket that I got. Okay, no, like I said, I'm not ironing anything. <laughs> uh, you can wear this to work. I often wear this to work sometimes when I, and I iron it, yeah. And notice the border of blue and notice these type of fringes. Okay. Sometimes you go to work, you don't want something so elaborate that stands out, that's gigantic. You know, I call them Pharisee fringes, but it's all right. Whatever floats your boat, whatever kind you like. Uh, many of you have seen this outfit, this garment here. Okay. I want you to notice on this, at the end, I have a, a light blue border. And notice the fringe is more finer and more spread out. But they go all around the garment. Okay, I'll wear this to work as well. Here's a sweater. Okay. Here's a sweater. Let me draw it pulling close. All right. Notice at the end of the sweater. All right, you have a very dark border of blue. The same uh, fine fringes on this all around the border of the garment. This is on a sweater that I have. Okay. Uh, here's a turtleneck. That I have, all right. Turtleneck. No, uh, like I said, I'm not ironing nothing. <laughs> not now. And on this one, I have a zigzaggy uh, border of blue. And uh, notice these type of fringes. Okay. Here I have a uh, a wool sweater. This is a wool sweater. And I want you to notice I, on this, I have larger fringes. The Pharisee fringes. <laughs> it's a joke. Uh, like I said, you have different kinds of fringes. Notice this border of blue here. More embroidered. I like that border of blue. It's real nice. Holding the border, the, the ribbon is holding the fringe to the sweater. That's how it's supposed to be worn. These are some nice fringes. The orange color goes with the orange dots inside the wool sweater. Here's another sweater of mine, a turtleneck sweater. Some of you may have seen this. Okay. And at the end of this, I have that same fancy border of blue. And notice the fringe is thicker, longer. Okay. So now you can wear these to work. I often wear these to work. You can still be lawful in today's society. Let me call them across here. All right. Here's a work outfit. Sometimes you got to dress for a certain occasion at work. Okay. I have a yellow colored shirt with a green vest and I have a jacket to match. I notice at the end of the vest there is a ribbon of blue and notice these type of fringes. Okay. Yeah, they're going to ask, you know, why do you have that on your, 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 your clothes? Explain them the law. These are real topic. They bring course topics at work. Okay, now here, we pull back. It's a more fancier outfit along the lines of a tuxedo. You might have to go to certain occasions. Sometimes you go to weddings or funerals, whatever, um, that you're invited to in the family, whoever it is for. And you still want to be lawful. Okay, so if you notice at the end of this jacket, I have another kind of fringe and border of blue. Notice it. Okay. Then you have your more, what they believe, what they say is oh, more Israelite looking. This is when I go out and teach sometime. On this garment, I have a fancy border and a ribbon of blue holding the fringe 
to the garment. Okay? So the fringe is actually on top of the garment and the ribbon of blue is holding. Okay? Uh, this one here, this green one, you might have seen this one pass over our waters. A more fancy uh, priestly garment, whatever. Whatever you say. Uh, at the end of this, notice I have a suede ribbon of blue and a matching fringe to go along with the pattern and the fabric. Okay. Uh, this is Brother Nathaniel from Israel, United in Christ. Uh, today we're going to deal with how to dress. Yeah, I know a lot of you know how to dress. I know that. Um, but in our repenting, is that the Most High gave us as a nation a dress code? Uh, in our repenting, should a can a harlot still dress as a harlot? No, a lot of you know. She, no, she has to change the way she dresses. Prostitute, she has to change the way she dresses. What is the dress code of the Most High? He gave Israel a dress code, and it was fringes and a border of blue. And today I'm gonna take you into my closet. And I'm gonna show you how we, how the Spirit has moved us to be lawful in today's ungodly society. Okay, uh, what? When the scriptures talk about the word garments, garments simply means clothes, brothers and sisters. Some of you foolishly think that the word garment means a priestly robe. No, it, it's included in that, but it, it means clothes, that's it. Because uh, growing up in this truth, we used to go out on the street, take off the priestly garment, roll it up, put it in the bag, put on a hat, flip it to the back, and bop down the street like niggas. No, we got to be Israel 24-7 to the best of our ability. At work, at school, at play, teaching, wherever. How can you do that in today's society? We ain't kept it. All right, now we're going to deal with the sisters. I got my, some of my daughter's things up. My wife put out for me. Here's a little skirt that she has, a dress, I should say. And notice at the end is a ribbon of blue and fringes. This is a denim skirt. Okay. Uh, here's another denim skirt, which is lavender in color. Notice it's a different type of ribbon of blue. It's that squiggly one. And the fringes are lavender also, which matches the actual garment. Uh, next she has a, uh, I don't know, this is tan. Safari, safari style outfit. All right, notice this type of uh, fringes here, different type. All right, a little fancy. All right, she also has here's another little a denim skirt, which is cute, with the little rhinestones on it. All right, now, I want you to see these fringes. Light blue, border blue suede, and pink fringes. Little puffy things, okay? Look at that. That's cute. Okay. Now she has a denim skirt here with uh, black with also a dark blue suede border of blue and uh, black puffy fringes. Okay, see that? It's cute. Alright, now she wears these things to school. Here's a, a more dressier garment she has for uh, special occasions. Notice she has the light blue ribbon of blue with the uh, beige fringes which are more finer and more spread out okay she has little rhinestones at the top of this okay uh here's a some of you may have seen this one before there's a skirt here i have it hanging up on the top she has uh this beaded fringe look at that isn't that adorable light blue border of blue and beaded blue fringes which go all along the garment okay also she has a matching head covering you sisters have to get in the habit of having your head covering notice it matches the the skirt okay here's a head covering here you don't necessarily have to have fringes on the head covering but it, it must be on the vesture which covers you all right now here's my wife's skirt okay uh, she has a light blue border of blue with uh, a, I don't know what kind of fringe this is. It's like a fur, not fur. Hmm. It's cloth, cloth fringe. 
but it notice there's red, green, beige, earth tones which match the uh, skirt. Okay, here's another one. All right, notice these type of fringes. All right, light blue, border blue. All right, here's another one. No, we didn't iron anything. My wife put it up, but she didn't iron. Now notice this one. Okay, light blue border with another kind of fringe. There's all kinds of borders that you can have. All right, here's a lavender one with lavender fringes. Black and white skirt. Okay, now notice these fringes. Let me hold it for you so you can see it a little clearer. See that, dark blue? Notice these fringes. Okay, you can wear these to work. Also, here's another outfit my wife had put together. Okay, work or play. What well, is really play, I guess? I don't know. Uh, notice these type of fringes at the bottom of here. Border blue, light blue with a matching fringe, which goes all along the bottom. And she has a light blue shawl, which goes along with